Triangle is an episode that kicks up the Laura notch as the characters engage in some high-stakes drama. But all of them seem to be trapped in their own emotional cages. Gail storms into the station and breaks things off with Lucas. Finchy rubbernecks their conversation, making me wonder why she has all these personal conversations at the station instead of a more private setting. Oh, Gail also says she's taking Caleb with her, but she crumples on her way out of the station. Dr. Billy identifies the cause of her collapse. She's pregnant. She asks for a retest, and we get a very Raimi-esque image of a demon baby looking back at her. These kinds of things may not always work, but I appreciate Sam Raimi's willingness to point out the parallels between the horrific and the ridiculous. Dr. Billy and Selena have made up since last episode, and they play doctor. Lucas looks on, perturbed. Gail is not content with Lucas's promises to do right by her and become a better man, so she hightails it out of town. That is, before he blocks her path on the road. It's a great callback to the opener where Gail nearly ran over Caleb on her way into town. Lucas thinks it's great that she's going to have his boy because Caleb is already too watered down with a soul thanks to his mother and sister. But this time, the kid will be raised wrong, the way the devil intended. Gail tries to get comfort from Caleb, but he rightly points out that she only calls when she needs something, and he goes back to blowing up army men. Lucas shows up at the school and lets Selena know she won't have Dr. Billy to keep her warm much longer. Selena and Gail wind up at the same bar, and Selena tries to commiserate with her. Instead, Gail slut shames her, and thankfully the writers don't let her get away with that. I just love women who sleep with your ex and somehow feel it makes them less a whore. And in a bit of characterization, continues to sympathize. In her way. See you, Clipside, Gail. The world did not get enough scenes between these two. Dr. Billy and Lucas have a discussion about evil, and Lucas makes a tongue-in-cheek comment about free will. I was wondering why you couldn't just remove the evil parts. Because your scalpel might slip, and you'd slice out the free will. That segues into a conversation about Gail's pregnancy and then a warning to leave town before he and Selena get hurt. I appreciate the economy of information and conflict in this scene, but it doesn't make any sense from moment to moment. Lucas asks Billy to give Gail the best possible care so that the baby will be okay, but then he tells him to get out of town? Gail's attempts to either drink herself to death or drink the baby out of her are unsuccessful, and just lead to dreams of her devil child. She tells Lucas the baby is not normal and she can feel it feeding off her and destroying her from the inside out. We get a nice touch as Lucas tosses some repurposed flowers from earlier. Dr. Billy shows up at Selena's and makes a plan to abscond with her to Uganda. There Stacy tells Gail the baby is normal and healthy, which Gail doesn't buy. And it's a good thing too because Stacy is being blackmailed by Lucas. Gail climbs to the roof of the bank, but Lucas and Caleb intervene. Caleb begs her not to put any more death on him and extends his hand. At a very Casablanca-ish airport, Selena is a no-show. Dr. Billy takes it well by tearing up an abandoned house in Goat Town and singing the Star Spangled Banner. He and Deputy Ben lament Selena's pathological love for Lucas Buck, and Ben takes him for coffee. Gail seeks guidance from God, but gets Merlin instead. Merlin encourages her to see the pregnancy through. After all, she was conceived in hate, and so was Caleb. Billy returns to Selena's and tells her not to be scared. In the middle of sex, Lucas casts a spell that makes Selena burn up from the inside. Billy confronts Lucas about it, and Lucas offers to lift the spell if Billy pledges obedience to him. Billy calls his bluff, and the spell is broken. But Selena shows up at Lucas's office and tells him she called out for him in her sickness, and knows that he only cursed her because he loves her. Lucas confirms as much and shoves her out the door. And we're out. Obviously, this is a big plot point for the show, and one that was dumped in the summer of 96 burn-off for the network. I get the feeling Gail's pregnancy would have been a big part of the second season had the show been renewed, but it winds up being quickly resolved at the end of the season. One of the quirky sociological side effects of serial media is that abortion is almost never a real option for a character with an unwanted pregnancy. Gail mentions it here, but virtually every character lines up on the opposing side to make sure she knows that she should keep the baby. Even though she says that the fetus is devouring her from the inside, and she has eye circles to prove it. Of course, 
The reason abortion can't be a serious option for a main character in a fictionalized serial is that characters constantly need to be moved forward, and for most male writers, an abortion simply returns the character to where they were. It seems extraordinarily silly to think about it, but it does affect the way that we talk about abortion in real life. He forced himself onto her, and she called me her child of light because I came from such darkness. That aside, this episode goes some places with the complex relationships of the characters. I wish we got more Selena and Gail interaction, especially with the writer's willingness to have Selena take Gail down a peg when it comes to her holier than thou attitude. It's rare, but on occasion, Selena does get to show she's smarter than most of the other characters. After the events of the last episode, where Caleb went full evil but felt bad about it, it's understandable that Lucas thinks he has to hedge his bets with a new boy. Always good to have a backup plan, after all. And then there's Lucas himself and his relationships with both Gail and Selena. I'm sure this is what the writers were referring to when they titled the episode Triangle, although it could refer to any number of threesomes in the episode. Lucas demonstrated that he has Selena under his thumb, and by proxy, Selena has Billy under hers. But Gail's resistance to Lucas seems to compel him. He implied in this episode that they are fated to be together, hearkening back to a deleted storyline from the pilot. It's clear that the power dynamic between Gail and Buck is different than the one between him and Selena. I've mentioned before that Selena is constrained by her inability to communicate in a way that isn't tied to her sexuality. And we might see that here with Lucas Buck too, only his view of the world is through power dynamics alone. Selena mentions that he's incapable of romantic love and learning to crawl, and here he seems genuinely puzzled by Gail's unwillingness to give herself over to him, even though he promised to be the man she wanted. That may be why Lucas and Selena make such a good couple. She has a need to be dominated, both sexually and in life, and he has a need for control. We'll see how this plays out over the final two episodes. Oh, my God.